Hello, this is Terry and welcome to my next video in my mini teardrop camper build. And in this video, I'm going to start out by varnishing the inside of my galley hatch, get that done and also the sides uh, so I can put my trim on uh, whenever I'm done putting the uh, outside or skinning the outside of the galley hatch. And I'll be doing that after I varnish here. So let's go ahead and get this varnished up first and then we'll move on to the galley hatch outside. And the goal of this video is have this hatch completely done and ready for install. So let's get started. Okay, before I skin the outside of my uh, galley hatch, I need to go ahead and drill a hole for a latch and a lock system that I've got here. This will actually go uh, from the outside here all the way through, and it'll connect to this piece that'll fit up under here, and it'll lock it into the sides by using the rods here. So what I've got to do is support this uh, because from the inside, this has to fit to uh, mount in these holes here. So I've got to add uh, some one by twos here. I'll probably just add one on top and one on the bottom to make sure I have enough room and uh, for that support. So, and, and drill a hole so I know where a hole is whenever I, you know, skin this side. From the inside, I can, you know, drill that hole back out to mount everything. So let's go ahead and put that support in, drill that hole, get that done, and then I can start skinning. got the uh, latch portion I'm going to install reinforced here and I got my hole drilled I used a little jig to do that to keep it straight so uh, next step uh, before I put my uh, flexible plywood on and skin it is just uh, light sand all the joints and stuff like that to make sure that all my my glue is off and everything like that and as soon as I get that like sanded then I'll go ahead and uh, start running my uh, uh, eighth inch plywood for my skin.
I got the outside of my galley hatch skinned. Uh, I think it turned out pretty good. Um, I had, did had to put a seam in it, like I had mentioned earlier in the video, uh, down this horizontal beam here, and the uh, seam turned out really good, and uh, it's gonna be covered up nicely, so I think that's turned out really good. So my next step is to go ahead and put on the poor man's fiberglass, so uh, let's get that done. Okay, I've got the outside of my galley hatch uh, skin, poor man fiberglass on it and painted. Now I'm ready to go ahead and put on the trim. So let's go ahead and get this trim put on. Okay, I've got my outside trim uh, just dry fitted right now uh, and uh, made sure that I uh, had, had overlap here. I didn't want to be too short. So the sides are just dry fitted and I've got the back dry fitted here. I've got it taped already. I'm going to use some, uh, some seal in here and uh, I'm going to screw and seal and get this on. So let's go ahead and get started.
Okay, I've got the galley hatch uh, outside trim installed. And it went a little bit better than I thought. It just took a good while to make sure the measurements uh, were going to be fine. And I uh, wanted to make sure that I, you know, measured three times and cut once because um, if I cut short, I would have to order some more. So, and of course, I screwed everything down with screws about every three inches or so. And the corners were mitered. Okay, and I'll put an extra two, couple screws here. Of the ProFlex uh, RV seal it that was it's kind of a mess. You know, I, I put um, down some tape and I still have got some here and there. I'll have to touch that up and fix that there. Uh, rest of the back looked okay. And of course the run all the way down to the end there. So, uh, so okay, so. What's next? Um, I've got to go ahead and put the uh, inside trim on and uh, we'll go ahead and let's go ahead and get that done. Okay, for the inside trim, I'm gonna use this uh, plastic PVC type uh, edge covering. It's got a little lip on it and it's just adhesive there. And I'm gonna put around the edges because on the inside, it's more cosmetic than anything else. And uh, I was gonna do some aluminum, but it was a little bit more expensive and then you had to bend it and things like that. So I'm gonna try this and see if it works. So let's try, go ahead and put that on. Okay, I've got my inside trim on. It went on uh, a little bit better than I thought, and the adhesive is really good. I, I thought I might have to pop some screws in to hold it, but no, it's, it's fine. And in the future, if it does come loose, I could pop some screws in it, but uh, it looks uh, good to me, and I think that's fine. Um, so, um, what have I got to do next? Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and stop this video here. Um, I'm going to do some cosmetic work uh, between this video and the next video to go with the colors of my camper on the uh, trim on the outside. No big deal. I'll just tell you and show you what I've done there. But in the next video, I'm going to start by putting this T-handle in to put the latch in the uh, galley door so I can lock the latch into the galley. So that's going to be the first thing I'll do. Then I'm going to go ahead and start putting my hurricane hinge on, which I, I'm really excited to put that on because that means I can actually go ahead and mount it on my galley and make sure that it works. So half of the hurricane hinge of course will go here and the other half will go here. So looking forward to that. So again this that does it for this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe and we will see you guys in the next video.